Dear ladies and gentlemen, you are here right now because you have a dream. Because you have hope to grab something from this talk today. And I appreciate you all for taking part in this talk today. From which you are already proving that you are already in a journey towards exploring leadership in self. Generally, leaders are always inspiring, passionate, highly committed, creative, sincere and well decorated with communication skills however having said that i cannot mention myself as a great leader as well but i truly blessed that i i feel that i am truly blessed because i feel that i have a tiny seed of leadership in self which I have nurtured through the last few years, and that has what pushed me on this stage today. Well, leaders are always not born with all the leadership qualities, but born as leader. At least I feel I am. Do you know why? It is all because my birth sign is a tiger. <laughs> Leaders work day and night and even a year to earn their name as leader. But I was named leader. Because top game meaning the power which denotes character of leadership in me. Anyway, leadership is not an easy thing. It is simply about becoming who we are. And I believe it so. Leaders are not only the one who leads the mass, who comes in front to command, who can give you an hour of speech, who can propose theories, and so on and so forth. Gandhi, Hitler, Obama, Malala, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela are not only the leaders. But I shall confidently tell you that you too are a leader. The only big difference between us and those leaders is exploration of leadership in self. And if, I, and if I am to say that we can become another Gandhi, another Malala or another Martin Luther King after exploring leadership in self, then you are on a wrong show, my friends. Because I'm neither here to talk about utopian theory, nor to, ex nor to lecture you on leadership qualities. Although I may sound like that. I am here to tell you little stories about this man. Anyway, this is the older version of myself. As the educating for GNH in schools begin around Bhutan, Yusilsi Middle Secondary School in Samsi had also started with awarding the most prestigious award known as the Best GNH Student Award. The very year this award was instituted, it was backed by Mr. Pratap Rai, who was then our school captain. To be honest, I did not have any idea about such a what. Nevertheless, in a year 2012, when I was in class 7, I happened to watch a movie titled Student of the Year, which provided me with ideas about such a what. And yes, importantly, it has encouraged me to win the best GNH student award someday. And I vividly remember that the students were judged by their academic performance, integrity, 
punctuality, leadership, and discipline. Fortunately, upon my notice, I was one of the nominees to receive the award. However, once again, the award was backed by Mr. Tilly Gelson, who was then again our school captain. That was quite disappointing, and because it was because I too was expecting, you know, that the expectation hurts, isn't it? Nonetheless, the academic year 2013 began with all my motive to volunteer, to explore, to read, to learn, and yes, ultimately to achieve the best GNH student award. Literally, I volunteered in every field. I took initiatives and I read inspirational books and made few of them my favorites. And I'm pretty much sure that every one of us here might have done the same thing before you came here. But let me say that it's okay. We'll keep on doing it for our own leadership in self. Because at the end of the day, it is all about oneself. As the year came towards the last month, the school administration began to prepare the award ceremony. And you know that uh, usually they keep the best GNH student award at the end of the ceremony. And you know what happened now? This was the very student who won the best GNH student award. And he was none other than Mr. Kelsang Topge of 8C. Wow, round of applause, please. Thank you. Principal complimented about my character in a crowd and inspired some other students to look up to me. That was truly a life changing moment whereby my journey of leadership began after that day. I began to hold the steering of my life and started driving myself as a good leader. And yes, eventually I was privileged to have hundreds of hands going up in the air in support of me to serve as school captain, which helped me in grooming my leadership qualities. Yes, my life was changing then. Fortunately, when I graduated my middle school from USLC Middle Secondary School, I was fortunate to win the best GNS student award for three consecutive years. Beside those achievements, I even had an opportunity to contest for the Golden Youth, eighth Golden Youth Award Camp. And although I did not win any award, I made a pledge of being a responsible GNH citizen. That program has imprinted lots of knowledge and ideas in me, from which I begin to explore leadership in self for a good life. And I realized that every one of us had certain leadership qualities but everyone fears of leading normally people have problem in accepting the responsibility the responsibility of leading others so therefore we sacrifice the honor of accepting the responsibility of leading others In a similar token, when I reached my high school in Samsi, I was forced by my teachers and friends to contest for school counselor. Although I have realized that every one of us had certain leadership qualities, I almost lost confidence in myself within two months of break. 
And the irony is sometimes it is not you who discover leadership in self, but the others. Therefore, I was elected as school counselor. And I must say that I have served my school to the best of my ability. For that reason, decoratively, when I graduated my high school, I was presented with the best, uh, the best student of the year, 2017. I was feeling much proud to be the best out of thousands. On the other hand, one of my teachers told me that, congratulations, Tobge, but remember, this is just the beginning of your journey. I simply nodded and thought that I could be leader in countless situations. So therefore, I did not rest there after winning four best student award. I did not rest there after serving as, serving as school counselor for four years. And I did not stop there after contesting and grabbing the oppo golden opportunity at Golden Youth Award Camp. Because I was truly moved, I was truly inspired by my own progression and by my own inspirations. As Mr. Blanchard rightly mentioned that my capacity to my capacity to learn determines my capacity to lead. If I stop learning, I stop leading. I imprinted the same thought that yes, if I stop learning, I cannot lead myself. If I can't lead myself, then my life will be determined by the decisions of others. So therefore, when I stand in crowd, I stand both for myself and for others. Thus, every leader must adhere to this and every leader must learn to lead and lead to learn. Upon reaching the college, I could not do anything than just to join GNH club and become a humble member. But to keep up the spirit of uh, volunteerism, I stood as co-member, thinking that I will have an opportunity to contribute and cement the four pillars and spread GNH values. Guided by my pledge, I initiated the project of my responsibility, my happiness. Ni Genkudi Ni Kawai, which basically aims in imparting the GNH values. At the same time, I learned from my inspirational that. Here, my inspirational Brian says that one of the key element for self-leadership is responsibility. If you can take responsibility, you can take action. If you can take action, you will have the results. So I instilled, I conceived what he says and then my, I begin to take responsibility for everything. I begin to take responsibility for everything. I started owing what other people don't want to touch. I accepted the blame that other people pass around me. And if you too begin with such, you know what will happen to you? There will be hundreds of people who will not like you. They will only talk about 1% of people making to the top and rest 99% don't. If I really talk about the number of people not liking us, 99% may not like my responsibility. But there will be always one or two people who will be always there in support. 
and that is going to make a great difference in a similar token I always have my beloved teachers my grateful parents my dear comrades and beloved ones who are all always in support of me I feel encouraged and inspired by this one person of people around me than the discouragement of 99 person I need this only I need this one person of encouragement because 99 percent of effort is what I'm going to give in and now when you have the hundred percent energy people will respect you people will admire you and they will even begin to follow you and this is leadership in self and what I'm truly fond of and what I truly believe in actually I pursue my dream not someone else for me so again that is leadership in self Thus, all this inspiration have fueled my leadership qualities and hence I leave it aspirations to leave the inspiration this is leadership in self I stand for myself and for others this is leadership in self I said I have strong faith in myself and I said thought for a day and hold on to it until the dark this is leadership in self I take initiatives to accept me to let the world accept myself I take responsibility and be accountable and I even take the credit too this is leadership in self and finally when leaders take responsibility they become the victor not the victim indeed I have looked through all the windows of six sense and discovered that the difference between movement and progress in life and my seventh sense says that I don't regret if my bash goes away after my tenure because I will always have his majesty on my chest and even if it goes away I will always have the badge of responsibility a badge a badge that will never go off my chest so therefore let us all be leaders thank you